Unless I can sing it like the Bee Gees. Then go ahead. All right. <laughs> we'll give the band a second. They'll come in there on something. All right. Our last of the top ten from Texas. Doing a James Taylor song that Elvis recorded on stage at the Aloha from Hawaii concert. And also Elvis won Grammys only in gospel. One for this song. With Steamroller Blues and How Great Thou Art, here is Josh Davis. gentlemen, you really are a fantastic audience. Good evening. And uh, you too, honey, up there in the balcony. <laughs> we hope you're enjoying our show today. We're going to try to do all the... Oh, thank you. We're going to try to do all the songs you want to hear, so we hope you enjoy. I'd like to do for you uh, um, one of my favorite gospel songs. It's called How Great Thou Art. <laughs> Throughout 
Steamroller Blues and James Taylor wrote, and back in February, James Taylor played this arena, and he did Steamroller, and even he said he didn't do it as well as Elvis. And backstage, uh, when he was here, Bonnie Wright was with him, uh, my buddy Scott Reed, who's on the board here of the arena, they presented them with guitars from Tupelo Hardware and Elvis sunglasses, and Bonnie and James started playing and singing Elvis songs. That's how much Elvis has influenced everybody. All right, now our accountants are, we have one. Our accountants um, are tabulating the votes that we have garnered through the day, uh, from yesterday and today, well, from today, and that will be uh, given to me in an envelope where I will bring the top 10 back out on stage. And we will announce the top five will be performing tonight. But while they're doing that, I'm going to do some Shakespeare. <laughs> Speak the speech, I pray you, as I pronounce it to you trippingly on the tongue. But if you mouth it, as many of our players do, I would as late the town crier spake my lines. Thank you. <laughs> well, there's someone else from England that's even better than Shakespeare. Uh, the gentlemen who are competing today, they want to go to represent Tupelo in Memphis to win the ultimate. And back in 2014, a gentleman won the Tupelo Festival, and just this past August, he was named the current ultimate champion. Ben Thompson. I feel like an FBI agent. Get free! <laughs> Don't say that around Dick, he'll pull. <laughs> How you guys doing? You alright? I like your Shakespeare. To be or not to be? Nah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Goes on for me. So t tell me what your year's been like. This. This journey to the ultimate, through all the contests, all the competitions, all the years of, of what you've been doing, in August, what happened that night when they said your name? Uh, well, my makeup run. <laughs> <laughs> but first and foremost, I've got to say, the one thing I would say is I would not change my journey in any way. <laughs> like, when, when we were standing there in the top five, and Believe me, it's a really, it's a nervous, it's the most nervous feeling I've ever, ever felt. And one person gets called and the eye, you're like, oh, oh. <laughs> you know? um, But since that night, um, I didn't kind of just think that was it, you know. I kind of, 
literally said, what's next? What, what, can, what can I do, you know? And I wanted to represent Elvis in the best possible way. So since that night, I have just worked harder. And you know what? I've traveled. I, I miss my memory foam mattress, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it right. <laughs> but you know what? I, I, the journey and the, what's happened over the last year is simply life-changing. And it's really helped me as a person. Uh, and it's, it's changed my life forever. And I, I couldn't thank all of you enough. So thank you so much. Again. But you're not out there on the road by yourself. No. You have uh, your manager, Colonel Ree. Uh, <laughs> She's become more popular than me now, yeah. by the way. <laughs> Basically, it's uh, part of the deal that when you hire Rianne for a festival, she brings Ben, and we have to let him sing a song. It's, it's uh, true. He didn't think he's lying. It's true. <laughs> I, really, I love how you can make a joke out of something when it's actually the truth. <laughs> What's it been like for you two on the road? I mean, thank goodness you've got someone to be with. And, yeah, and uh, I think uh, the thing to remember is that if you're on the road, it can be quite a lonely place sometimes, you know? And obviously, you think when you're traveling, you get to see all these wonderful places and stuff like that. You know what? Well, I can tell you about every Burger King in every airport, you know? Like, you know, we see some wonderful places, but it really isn't special and fun if you're doing it on your own, you know? And, Rihanna has been absolutely incredible behind me, 100%. And you know what? She 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 she, she puts me in line too. You know? like, so, but I mean, my, I mean, my she family, puts all of us. She in puts line. all of us in line. <laughs> but like my family back home as well, and everyone have been so so supportive. And I got to say, when, when you're on the road, it is very difficult sometimes to kind of uh, keep keep focused and keep everything you know how it needs to be. And she literally does does that for me, so give her a round of applause. She, she, yeah. She gets a bit scary sometimes too. You know, just and, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys on Facebook, you exhaust me with your travels. I'm I'm sitting there and, and I'm thinking, oh wow, they're oh I'm just so glad I'm not having to do that. But you're out there doing it, you love doing it, and you're really taking advantage of the situation. And I've always said ETAs, all of them, no matter where they perform, are ambassadors for Elvis. Oh, yeah. And that's what you do. Thank you so much. Do you know what the thing is, Tom, is like, all these guys, every, every time we get on stage, it's a sense of excitement. You know, someone asked me the other day, do you ever, do you ever get tired, do you ever get bored? And never, never. There could be one person, there could be a million people. I still want to come out here and do the same show, you know? And if I can represent Elvis and help to continue his legacy, you know, we was up at the birthplace and we done Becoming with those kids. Yeah. And I tell you what, I wish I was that good at like 11 years old and stuff, you know? I, I wish I had their hair too. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, seriously, I mean, for us to see those kids, uh, you know, portraying Elvis, it means that we've done our job right, carrying, continuing Elvis's memory. And that's, that's all we want to do. Not one, of us, not one of us thinks we're Elvis at any time. You know, I mean, you feel like Superman when you're in that jumpsuit. I tell you, I'm standing there like, yeah, rock on. But I, seriously, you know, we just want to continue his legacy. And the way that this festival and all of you guys, how you do it, it's so, it makes me so proud to be a part of it. It really does. Yeah. And all hail Tupelo, all right? There we go. As I said when I introduced you the year you came back, Tupelo's own Ben Thompson. Thank you so much, guys. I love the you ultimate. Good luck to everyone in the contest, all right? <laughs>